Hi everyone. In uh, today's video, I want to talk about an important change uh, that is being introduced to the ISM code and that change is the introduction of electronic record books specifically for the Markwell Convention. Uh, knowing about this is very important not only from an exam point of view but also from an operational point of view. So let's get to know about this change to the ISM code. Now this change is applicable to all manufacturers, ship owners, charters, ship operators, technical managers and seafarers of course. So all stakeholders involved in the shipping and the maritime industry. The change has been that from 1st of October 2020, the International Maritime Organization that is IMO has introduced amendments to the MARPOL annexes. You all know what MARPOL is. It is the International Convention on the Prevention of Oil Pollution or Prevention of Pollution at Sea. So the MARPOL annexes that have been impacted by this new change is Annex 1, 2, 4 and 5. All right, so I hope you know what these annexes stand for. For example, one is oil pollution, five is garbage, two is noxious liquid substances, if I'm not wrong, uh, four is sewage. Uh, just check up on these, sometimes I get them wrong. And of course, the change is also applicable to the noxious substances, NOx, technical code 2008. Now, this change will permit the use of electronic record books instead of hard copies. Now you can see on the left side of your screen that is what a hard copy of the record books looks like. Now these record books that are covered by this change are the oil record book parts 1 and 2 from Marpol NX1, the cargo record book from Marpol NX2, the garbage record book parts 1 and 2 covered by Marpol NX5, the ozone depleting substances record book covered by Marpol NX6, the recording of the tier and on and off status of marine diesel engines recorded by Marpol NX6, the record of fuel oil changeover Marpol NX6 again and record book of engine parameters that is covered by the NOx technical code. Now if you don't know what NX6 is, NX6 is of course air pollution covered by the air pollution, uh, NX6 covers us, air pollution caused from the ship operations at sea. So you can see now that the left side you have the physical record book or the hard copy of the record book that is going to be now slowly replaced or you can use the electronic record book instead of that. That is a big change introduced by the digitalization and the automation of the ISM code. In, in terms of ship installation, any ship that chooses to use the Marpol electronic record books will now be required to carry a ship specific declaration. All right, just like you have a document of compliance and a, a safety management certificate as per the ISM code for every particular ship, you will also be carrying now a ship specific declaration that will confirm that the electronic record book or the installation of electronic record book meets the requirements of the IMO guidelines, the International Maritime Organization's guidelines. The declaration may be issued by the flag state under which the ship is registered or where authorized by the flag state it may also be issued by Lloyd's register following an installation survey on board. All right, so this declaration or this announcement is in courtesy to a Lloyd's register. So that is why otherwise I'm sure the classification society can then step in and also issue a declaration. During the MARPOL surveys or post-state control inspections, the absence of such a declaration will mean that an electronic record book and the record it contains will not be then accepted as fulfilling the record provisions or record keeping provisions of MARPOL and the NOx technical code. So you may have the electronic record book but if you do not have the ship specific declaration that will not be considered as a legitimate record keeping provision. So if you have an electronic record book it is better that you get the ship specific declaration either by the flag state or by the specific classification society. In terms of approval of new and existing electronic record books, the new and existing installation of electronic record books will be approved by the flag state or the classification society such as lawyers register 
or were authorized by the flag state so the by the classification society all right and then it will adhere to the imo's guidelines for the use of electronic record books under marpol so these guidelines are described in the resolution mepc 31274 mepc is marine environmental protection committee which was formed by the imo in order to deal with matters that are related to prevention of pollution at sea due to different reasons it could be oil substances garbage sewage air pollution etc where classification society such as lloyd register is carrying out the approval it will consist of the type approval of the software and a subsequent installation survey on board so once the electronic record books are installed the software will also require to be approved all right so you can see here on the left side of the screen i've shown you an example of a electronic oil record book known as e orb so this e stands for electronic and orb stands for electronic oil record book so you can see an example here all right these are important changes that you have to be aware of if you want to know more about these changes then make sure that you read up these resolutions although these resolutions are quite long and lengthy i have kind of summarized it for you so the resolutions one i have already mentioned regarding the electronic record books is mepc 31474 the next one is mepc 31674 which deals with amendments to marpol annex 6 specifically dealing with electronic record books and eedi regulations for ice strengthen ships if you don't know what eedi means that means energy efficiency design index that designs a vessel to ensure that there is minimum pollution from the ship's installation system especially the fuel installation systems and then you also have the resolution mepc 31774 that deals with amendments to the nox technical code electronic record books and certification requirements for scr systems scr stands for selective catalytic reduction system so i don't want you to go through all these three resolutions just for the sake of it i've already summarized it for you but the changes that i've talked about has been introduced by the imo it has been discussed by the imo in these particular resolutions so if you want to study more on it for your oral examinations or operations at sea you may do so So guys that is all for today's video thank you for watching let me know whether you find these videos useful or not i look forward to your feedback the only reason i put up these videos is to help you with your learning so write to me thanks guys thanks for watching bye for now